Here's example three. Now we're looking at the C value. What happens when we have a shift? How do we do it? What's the <laughs> shortcut? Well, the shortcut is you can have your original graph with your axis family labeled. So I have that. Now I need to move this pi over 6 to the right. So I still have my axis family labeled. And if this is pi over 2 radians, which is 90 degrees, I have to estimate about a third of the way. So what I did is I sort of let thought about dividing that into three sections because pi over 6 is one third of pi over 2. 30 degrees is one third of 90 degrees. So I estimate where pi over 6 was and I take that little distance and I move I each ticky mark over that little distance. Who's at the stand? Oh, yes. Okay. So if I do that, now I take each of these points and just shift them. Where does Co start? Now Co is starting at the maximum pi over 6 to the right. And if we use the pattern, maximum, center line, minimum, center line, maximum, just having the first one labeled is enough, and that creates a shortcut for moving things left and right. So we're still using our axis family, but then just adding some new ticky marks to show the shift.